Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And some coffee. I have a new creamer, not creamer. Well, it's called Calfia. It's coconut milk, coconut cream and almond milk, pumpkin spice, zero sugar added. So I mix that with my real cream. I know, but it's delicious. I've got Jody. All right, I got a big old Dollar Tree haul for you here, and we got all the things. A bunch of new stuff. Some repeats and something I found that I'm falling in love with again. So let's start with the dog stuff, because she's right here, and I've already opened both of these. But I found this two-pack of Dentley Bones for her. Um, they're good. They're these are rawhide free uh, with real peanut butter and honey made in the USA. Here, I'm gonna not break that in half. I thought I was going to. Nope. And then I found they have these big bags of biscuits called Evolve Oven Baked Dog Biscuits. This is peanut butter and berry. No corn, no wheat, no soy. No artificial colors or flavors. No artificial preservatives. I may have to go back and get her some more of these. She seems to really enjoy them. And they had lots of different flavors at my one store. And look, they're a little coffee cup shape. <laughs> okay, take it over there. Ooh, she's chewing it on me. So she'll be with me probably till Tuesday. So I figured I would get her some, some treats. And then I can just send them home with her. All right, we got a lot of food this time, which I don't typically do. But these are for me. They're seaweed. A whole package only has one carbohydrate. Um, they have some sunflower oil and sea salt. I like these a lot. This is a little snack, a little salty something. So I grabbed a pack from me. And then I got all kinds of food food here. I'm trying to find it all together. So I grabbed three bags of these bugles. Um, Jody. No. Three bags of bugles. I'm going to make a harvest mix. Uh, for our Halloween party. It's like, what is, who's knocking on my door? Nobody, it's Jody's tail. And it calls for pretzels, check cereal, bugles. So I grabbed three bags of the bugles. I probably could have got a big bag for less, but I was there, it was there, so I bought it. Bugles. So I got three bags of those to go in this mix. It takes a bag of pretzels. So I grabbed a bag of pretzels. I'll get check cereal at the grocery store. Now my niece makes this mix, but she doesn't do what I saw, which is you make a syrup, like it's brown sugar, butter, sugar, butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, I'm not sure. It mixes, it melts up and makes a syrup like a caramel apple. You toss all this in it, the checks, the pretzels and the bugles, and then you put it in the oven to dry it out. Then when it's done, you add candy corn, and then I got candy pumpkins, and I got two bags of each. I'm making a big batch. So I grabbed four bags, two of each of those. And then I'm also, this is not from the Dollar Tree, but I thought I would show you. I got some, would you stop, please? Um, Ghoul's Mix M&Ms to put in it as well. So that's all gonna become one like mix for the kids. So I grabbed that. And then for Thanksgiving, I grabbed this little bag of craisins. Sarah likes my cornbread stuffing. I put apples and craisins in it. And this is a perfect size bag. So I just grabbed it while I saw it. And I think, well, this is sort of food related. These are little four ounce cups with the snap on lid. I got these um, for a little fall gift I'm making for my co-workers when we have lunch next week next week week after I'll make a video of it what I'm doing but I needed these so I grabbed those and I believe that's it for food yeah that's it for the food I've got so much stuff over here guys I got so much good stuff over here all right now I have a love-hate relationship with these candles I love the copper lid. This is called Bake, I'm sorry, Rake Pile Leap. It's, I think it's their take on the leaves. Smells like Bath and Body Works leaves. It even has a little apple cider scent to it. 
these are not good for a big room, but what I have found works perfect, I put them on my desk. And during the day I've been burning them and it's, I can smell it because it's right in my face. So I grabbed a few. I'm um, burning upstairs pumpkin spice, which is really nice. This one is, like I said, um, Rake Pile Leap scented candle. So I grabbed that scent. I know I have other scents in here, but we're just doing what's out. I grabbed some spray adhesive to try. I just thought that would be fun. Kind of crafty. Oh, they had these. My niece loves these, but these are take note highlighter pens. So they're like pointy on one end and highlighter on the other. I wanted to try them. I haven't bought any, but I thought I would try these out. And this is uh, red and pink. Nope, she wants in her treats. Um, I grabbed a ladle because when we do the caramel apples at our little party, this will be perfect to ladle out the caramel onto the apples. And I can also use it for my house. But I thought this was great. Um, the goal, uh -uh. the goal is no hands. You know, we're gonna have some kids over, we're gonna watch a movie. These are 13 year olds, but you know, just keep hands free. So we're gonna make the caramel fondue, but I'm gonna have the apples cut up and then we're just gonna drizzle the caramel over the cut up apples and then they can sprinkle toppings on it. So I needed a ladle because I don't have one. So that was exciting, right? All right, let me get some stuff organized here. Um, crafty wise, I grabbed these black tags. These are again for my fall gift. I have chalk markers and I'm gonna write a little message on them. This came with six, which I think is fun. These would be great for Christmas too. But these, this stuff here all needs to get left together. I have um, the clear cello bags that I'll use for these, for this project. But I grabbed those. I could just, I have a punch. I could have done my own, but I liked the black. So I thought, okay, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Ooh, look what I found. I'm okay, back up, sister. Thank you. Here, get your ball. Go get your toy. Um, this is Transformer brand chalk. Like, what little guy or girl who loves Transformers would not find this fun? This is a perfect stocking stuffer or save it for spring next year, but I'm thinking Christmas. But look at how fun that is, and they're shaped. And it's Transformer brand. So I grab these. I'll give them to my coworkers, little boy. Hey, hey, get out of there. I'll give them to my coworkers, little boy. He'll like that. Um, I picked up in the Christmas section a wreath holder. I think this, excuse me, ma'am. I think this will be good year round. It just goes on my, this will go indoors. I don't think it will hold anything overly heavy, but I don't have really heavy wreaths. So I grabbed that. I put the plastic one that was on my inside outside. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, she wants this. I bought this ball at the Dollar Tree. And I will tell you, I gave it to the German Shepherds, who, by the way, finally tore up that one Dollar Tree ball. So that lasted several weeks for them. This is super lightweight. And it's Hyper Pet, Hyper Chews, Lightweight, Resilient. Ava foam, safe for hardwood floors. So it's good for indoor, you know, for indoor play. It's not really hard like the other one. Um, I Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Guys, seriously, go get your ball. Um, yeah, so I gave one to the German Shepherds and they haven't tore that one up yet either. Now, some of them obviously are not great, but that one works out well. Um, I grabbed a silicone hot pad. Um, I just think this would be twofold. One, it would be great on the counter if I'm going to put a hot pan on it or something. But also, I think I'm going camping in a couple weeks. And I need a hot pad holder to hold my pot and stuff while I'm cooking. Um, so yeah, I grab one of those to take with me and then to have when I'm here. Another great thing with these, you can take your E6000 and seal it shut maybe or somehow get it shut and you can stick hot flat irons in there to cool. I think the E6000 would work. Uh-uh, ma'am, ma'am. She wants her bone and she can't have it. No, ma'am. Okay. 
please go get your toy. I bought her so many toys, you have no idea. I've been buying toys for this dog for days, and she's not about that life. Okay, oh, I got this one, which is Harvest and Hayride. So the leaves one has an apple scent. Oh, yeah, that smells good. This would be perfect. Ooh, in a bathroom, I think these would be good. Now, I will tell you, these little mason jar ones are the ones that I find have the best throw. Take it for what it's worth. A little tiny room or like on your desk with you. That's what I use it for. Oh, see, here's another toy I bought her. I found for family game night, the Wheel of Fortune, the card game. I don't know how to play it, but we're going to figure it out. I mean, I'm going to assume you just lay your cards out and you have to solve the puzzle. But I thought that was super fun. This is not a Greenbrier. You know, Endless Games, Inc. How fun is that? So I only saw one on my shelf. So I grabbed that. I thought that would be super fun. We do get family game night on occasion. Okay. Now, in the realm of Christmas gifting, I grabbed one of these. If you haven't tried this, they are wonderful little um nail polish removers and you can refill it this i get the 100 percent acetone you push the top down and it brings the nail polish remover up and it will fill this little reservoir will fill and will wet your um whatever you're using i use cotton balls or cotton rounds and you're not pouring it out so i got this and then i found sally hansen nail gel in this color this is the color it is polish i know my niece will love that color and then i got her some of these sally hansen um they're like nail what are they called nail polish strips so just a little something i get her little things like this all the time but these are things i know she will definitely use so i'm putting her together a little beauty kit and i'm telling you this is I have one of these and I love it, so I know she'll love it too. And then I got her some Sally Hansen, and I'm going to get her some nail files and things like that. But i just like to show you things that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree that are cost effective. Name brand even, right? Okay, speaking of something I found, I don't even know the brand for this. It's a makeup brush dryer. Do you see how they're hung upside down? So I did get one for Sarah for her beauty kit, but let me tell you, I got one for me. This is mine. I got it for my um, paint brushes. So in my craft room, excuse me, ma'am. In my craft room, um, on my bathroom sink, let's see. I think you just have to figure out how to put it together. Oh yeah. I mean, it's nothing fancy. But what I like about it, I'm putting it together for you guys, maybe, is, um, hello, why are you not going together? Maybe I'm upside down, I don't know. You can hang your brushes, any of your brushes, right, in this, I'll get that together, but you hang them, and these little rubber things, catch the brush and I'm forever washing paint brushes for crafts and DIYs and stuff and so I thought this would be um perfect to sit on my sink and dry my um paint brushes I don't know how to get it together but it's not hard I'm just fussing with it it kind of goes like that so I grabbed one for me and I grabbed one for Sarah um because I know she does have makeup brushes. and I mean, I have them, but she washes hers more frequently than I do because she uses them more than I do. So I thought this was fabulous. And for a dollar, just says in brush, insert brush handle into the supportive silicone hold upwards. Let brush hang upside down to prevent moisture in ferrule of brushes. Perfect. And I'm using mine for my crafting because again, I'm forever washing paint brushes. Okay. Let's see, I've got a bag over here. I grabbed one more of these for a friend of mine. Um, if you'll see my video that goes up tomorrow, I used one to make a sign. And I showed her a picture of the sign and she liked it. And these are great just to stand upright and you can make them double-sided. 
So I grabbed an extra one just to make a sign for her because I think she'll appreciate it. Okay, now this is another item that I got to DIY. Although that's a fabulous flamingo. What I do with these is I cut, like I'll cut right along this edge of this canvas, pull it all, take out all these staples or hammer them in, and then I paint on this side and staple it up and I have and I paint the wood underneath it and I recreate my own canvas that the wood is on the outside. So I love that. So I grabbed one of those for DIY. I don't have a lot of DIY stuff here, but I have some. Um, speaking of DIY stuff, I picked up these um, Christmas wood chip stickers. So they have the stocking, the candy cane, the mittens, and then I got snowflake stars and Christmas trees. They had another one with Christmas trees and they were green glitter, but I just wanted the plain one. So I grabbed two packs. These come with their own sticker, but if you want to utilize this in a different way, you just can take an X-Acto and take that sticker off the back and then um, glue it down with hot glue. So I grabbed two of those. Um, I got a can of Rotel. That was random, but I love making um, queso and you need Rotel. And I saw it and I said, hey, I need that. So I grabbed it. I don't know if it's a good deal or not. I think it's fine. And then I got these two things for our little party. I'm not sure which one we're going to use. But I'm sorry. What is this Dollar Tree? It glows. And it shows a skull on that one. And look at the witches on that one. So we should open up one of these, shouldn't we? Because what the what? Oh, wait. I think I need to put a... Yeah, I don't have a... Takes two AAA batteries. And what you can do, sorry, I got my stuck. I'll have to show you at some time. I don't have any batteries. This piece goes up and down, and then you just turn it on over here. So it's on off, and it lights it up on your wall. How fun is that? So I grabbed two of them. Again, we're having a little Halloween party for the kids because I don't think that they're going to be trick-or-treating this year. The young teenagers, I just don't think it's going to be safe. So I think we're having, instead of just our Hocus Pocus night, I think we're having a full-on Halloween party, which, again, is super fun. And fine, ma'am, can I help you? This dog is driving me nuts. I found this, and I think I've seen other people haul it. It's supposed to go on your wall for a backsplash. I'm going to use it in a crafting some way, but these are subway tile size with the grout drawn on. It's a sticker, but how fun is that? I'm gonna make something for my kitchen. And this is a fairly large piece. It's a 17.7 inch by 29.5. This is big. I'm not sure I'm hanging it on my wall, but I think I can craft with these. And that's the other patterns that they have right now. I like that one too, but they were really big like big square so i just got that one i just thought that was fun try to come up with something to do all right we're down to one more bag what did i find oh i know what i found they had oh my gosh you guys look at that i'm doing nothing to this maybe take the bow off is that not awesome or what and i'm sure i could have bought more and i might buy some more but honestly i just want this for my tiered tray for winter not even just christmas but well, yeah, Christmas. However, if I wanted it for just winter, I could totally cover that up, like paint it black. And this would be awesome for just winter. I always struggle with the post-Christmas winter. But I feel like if I took this twine off, painted that black, put the twine back on, it's now a winter snow globe. They had Santa, a snowman, and one other one. But this was my favorite. I love it. And you know what I could do too? Is take the silver or the um, I think silver glitter glue and just drop it on these snowflakes or some of the snowflakes to kind of give it a little sparkle that would be fun so I'm definitely gonna upscale that so that I can use it for um, the holidays just I mean not holidays for after Christmas now I think I told you that our theme or the movie we're gonna be watching at our Halloween is Hocus Pocus and if you've seen the movie, this looks just like book. 
it's the book of spells. So I'm gonna use this box. I'm making witch's finger cookies. You know, with the almonds for the fingernail and they're green. I'm making those and I'm gonna put them in here. And then for my house, I might have gotten the smaller one. <laughs> but I'm gonna like have it on the counter like that and they can get in it and they'll be full of cookies for the kids. I thought that would be super fun. And this, I'm just gonna set it on my coffee table behind me because it's book. Guys, book. I know. I think I'm Mary Sanders, right? Um, excuse me, ma'am. No. Why? 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 No. No. Rotten dog. You're not chewing that up. That's not for you. Okay. The last thing I found, and you are going to be shocked. I am shook. Yeah, I'm shook. All right. Dude, I found tie-dye at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree brand tie-dye. I don't know if I've seen anybody hauling this. And it comes with directions. And it comes with rubber gloves and rubber bands. What? Like crazy. Now, I don't know if it has the soda ash. But we're going to try this stuff out. I might order some soda ash. But I got red, purple, blue, yellow, and I got green. What? Tie-dye? At the Dollar Tree? Crazy. Why is this doll crazy? That's not for you, ma'am. No. Gav, drop it. Help me. Get your ball. Where's your bone? Oh my God, she's dropping me nuts. Tie-dye, guys, we have tie-dye. Okay, so I grabbed tie-dye. And the, excuse me one second. Okay, I'm back. Alrighty, I have hit the jackpot in winter socks. What? Guys, look at these. They look like, like Norwegian socks. They had all different prints. This was my favorite. And these are boot socks. And they're pretty thick. So I think they'll be warm. Look at that. And what I'm hoping is there's not a lot of threads in there. Yeah, there's not. I mean, it's in there, but it's not like loose threads because I hate that. So I'm excited. Now this is women's size five to nine, but they have these winter, and they had, like I said, all different patterns of that. Then I found this faux fur neckerchief thing, but that's not how we're wearing it. I think this is gonna become a gnome. This is gonna be the beard on our gnome. And I can get several gnomes out of that, right? So I grabbed that and it's that really soft fur. Then I found just some plain boot socks. They have these in like all different colors, but I got them in gray. And these are thicker. These are women's thermal quarter. So these are really thick and spongy and nice. I enjoy these a lot. Um, again, camping. So in the winter time, ma'am, ma'am, no. In the winter time, when I'm working here at home, I like to wear these thick socks and I just put lotion on. So these are nice boot socks, not so thick. These are very thick and I probably wouldn't wear them in socks and shoes. However, camping, Keeps my feet warm. So I grab those. Um, can we say leg warmers? Like what Dollar Tree? Again, you're carrying leg warmers? I don't even know if, I don't think these will fit me, but I thought maybe there would be a crafty use for them. But, um, what? The what? Guys, these are leg warmers. I would say a young kid, these would fit. These are not fitting my legs, but I could make a hat out of that too, a gnome hat, right? And then just tie off this end, tuck it in and put a pom-pom on it. And now we have a gnome hat, done, done and done. We're gonna have to do a Dollar Tree gnome and I can make two out of that with the gray beard. 
So I just need like a black sock or something for the body. Done. So I grabbed the set of those. They came in cream, this burgundy, and the black is what I saw. And then the last socks I picked up, I got Snuggadoo is what they're called. And they are Greenbrier. Um, hello, black buffalo check. And these I like because they have a little no slip grips on the bottom. So when I'm walking around my house, sorry for the squeaking, but at least she's not trying to eat everything that I'm holding. So these are just little slippers. And these are adult socks, five to nine. And then I found a bunch of these. I only grabbed a three pair, but they're little booty socks, um, one size. They are so soft and snuggly, and I'm sure they're gonna be warm, and they have some gold glitter in them. But we have the kitty. <laughs> we have a kitty. We have a lamb. I love pink and gray, by the way. And then I got the hedgehog. What? How cute. They had other ones too. They had, um, I think they had a dog. I know they had a unicorn. They had also higher ones, but I love these in the winter time just to throw them on with like some jaggings or something and wear them around the house just to keep my feet warm. They're also super soft and they're great. Put lotion on your feet and then put these on and it works out really well. So that my friends is everything I got in my Dollar Tree extravaganza or just my big old Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will talk with you later. Bye!